Hey guys, it's uh, Lord Boggin off here again. Ready to drop some more black pills for you for the fourth installment of Love is Blind. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> so what's up? I'm sad right now. Why? I just feel like I'd rather just like walk away from this. Like this is crazy. So many people are gonna get hurt in this, you know? Now you notice how Jessica needs to frame this like she's trying to stop Mark from being hurt when uh, in all reality she just wants to go with somebody else. Why are you, what are you talking about? You know, our connection is so strong, but like I would be doing myself a disservice if I didn't pursue relationships like I came here to do. What the fuck? What the f is this? Watch your profanity. So at this point, should Mark run? Salvage his self-respect to realize that Jessica was never his and she belongs to the streets. Two, commit not alive. Three, consume a soy beverage to nerf his tea count and then double down with a desperate ploy that reeks of desperation. Or four, call Geico and save 15% on car insurance. A few minutes later. <laughs> I get it. You want to weigh out all your options and be certain. I'm certain. You were certain. I'm certain. You were certain. Of course, if there's I'm one thing this new sensor is tough. And I don't just care about it. It's over. What the fuck? What the fuck? It's over. What the fuck? Why are you. What are you talking about? It's over. What the fuck? What the fuck? It's over. It feels like I'm an option. It's over. What the fuck? It's Why over. are you what are you talking about? It's over. What the fuck? It's over. I'm just trying to like explore everything because we only have like a limited amount of time and it's like the rest of our lives, you know what I mean? Like, if I'm not walking out of here with you, then I'll go my separate way and I'll go home. And that's fine. Honestly, Mark should have just stopped right here. I just hope that he accepts me for who I am. I'm here for you, Carlton. I will always be here for you, no matter what. What is he going to have a hard time accepting? That your ass is so fat that you're taller sitting than you are standing? You're so curvy that you make the inverse of an exponential curve on a logarithmic function look like a straight line? Or that your hair is so long that he could use it to repel down the well that Bane threw Batman into? What's he going to have to come to terms with? That he's going to have to grow gills before you sit on his face because there's no way he's going to get any fucking air? I just hope that he's just find me very attractive. Seems to me you mentioned something about relationships in the past all being predicated on finding you attractive and not really caring about your personality. And then when he meets you, you want him to be attracted to you. But what about your personality? I love guys with bald heads. And I think he like the way he dressed and just his whole persona. I'm, just, I'm very attracted to Carl. I haven't been this confused since I got a boner hugging my dad. I mean, it seems to me like you already clicked from a personality perspective so what exactly is there left who cares what he looks like hello hi i've waited so long to find the perfect person barnett is someone i could spend the rest of my life with i'm ready for him to ask me to marry him cocaine is a hell of a drug <laughs> I don't know. Yes. Montanov, he did it. He bought. He went to Olin. Dump it. I feel like I should go. I don't fuck with people like you. Like, I'm not playing this game with you. 
Now, I distinctly recall Jessica saying that Burnett was coming off as kind of a player, and she's been sustaining him for this long, but uh, all of a sudden she doesn't want to play the game when it's no longer working out in her favor. Interesting. Now you're trying to figure it out. Like, I know a million guys like you. There's people that don't know what they want, and that's you. You don't know what you want. And that's I'm what a million to, people have told me, because to... I'm fucking over this. Translation for those who don't speak 34 and single, all the chads that I've dated in the past have all had a serious amount of options other than me, so they haven't felt any need to commit. And every time I try to progress the relationship from a friends with benefits type of situation, they start balking. See, Jessica knows that when the chads in her past tell her that they don't know what they want, it either means that they don't want her and they're too polite to say it, or they are fielding a whole bunch of other options and they're not really trying to commit to her because they have no need to do so. Now before you feel too bad, just remember that Jessica threw Mark away like the quarterback when the pocket is collapsing and Mark actually wanted to commit to her. So let's do a quick recap here. So Jessica came into the show saying that she wanted to settle down and that at no point in the past has she been in the position to focus solely on dating. She also says that she has a rigid set of standards that she does not think anyone will be able to meet, aka a Chad who wants to commit to her. She claims that she is not on any sort of timeline despite the fact that she says she wants three kids and she's 34. Never mind that the eggs in her uterus have the consistency of the freeze-dried powdered ones that Red Cross ships to Uganda. Hi Jessica. Don't let that dude fuck with you. What? Don't let Barnett fuck with you. What do you mean? I'm just telling okay. you, he's a fuckboy. I know that y'all have come to expect the Bog News Network to be a reputable source of news with unbiased journalism, and I'm not supposed to give my opinion here. But what exactly is the difference between what Barnett was doing with Jessica and what Jessica is doing with Mark? So now she's trying to sabotage Barnett because he didn't choose her. Because I had visualized Barnett as someone I could spend the rest of my life with. Yep, you guessed it. This is the point where Jessica goes back to where she quick saved before breaking things up with Mark and tries to hit him with that Uno reverse because Barnett no longer wants her, but she doesn't want to be alone. Yesterday, I was thinking Mark, 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 and Barnett came and distracted me with this game. So I really hope that I didn't mess it up with Mark. This is just a sort of NPC behavior that you come to expect from Jessica. Instead of admitting that she went all out with Barnett and things didn't work out, she refuses to take responsibility for the situation by saying that Barnett was playing a game on her. She is adopting a typical victim mindset so that she does not have to admit it was her fault all along. And I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Like, it's cut off. Like, it is totally cut off. I'm not seeing him anymore. The good news is, Merck now understands what Jessica is about, and he isn't going to fall for her tricks anymore. Just kidding. <laughs>